Greetings, Terrans. Uh, this is Branthar here as DCUO Bassmaster on YouTube, and today we are with Brandylicious outside of Bruno Mannheim's Chinese Theater. Well, it's named after his family, not necessarily after him. Um, and today we are going to visit Manan Xanadu's Royal Dynasty Seafood Buffet. So, Madam Xanadu uh, uh, requested Brandylicious's help. And Brandylicious came in and uh, vanquished Felix Faust along with her. And this little troublemaker here. That was Dia, was her name? Anyway, uh, they have taken over uh, the Mannheim Chinese Theater. And um, it is now owned by Madame Xanadu. And it is her Royal Dynasty Seafood Buffet. Um, so we're going to go in and check it out uh, while she is away. Uh, Brandy is in charge. Uh, she is the manager. Let's go. And here we are inside Madame Xanadu's seafood buffet. And uh, I think we need to dress a little bit more appropriately for the occasion. So let's change into something a little bit nicer. And I think we should probably put our guns away as well. Um, so here is the exit and the waiting room. Uh, here you can pick up um, some memorabilia. Uh, it is electricity related, um, but all profits go to charity. Here is the waiting area. Uh, if you notice, there is a lot of seating. Uh, the um, Royal Dynasty Buffet uh, is pretty popular. And here is the host spot where the host stands. And here is a special seating, pot where, a seating spot where you can take a picture um, of yourself or your loved one sitting on your lap. Uh, for posterity, for having been at the restaurant. Uh, this is Madame Xanadu's uh, private teleporter. Uh, it is off limits. Uh, but if you'd like, uh, you can purchase um, um, some dynasty memorabilia at any of these kiosks over here. And as we move along um, uh, past the seating area and into the restaurant, uh, there's lots of different types of food around. Um, uh, as we move along, uh, it will be more and more predominantly seafood, of course. Uh, this is a royal seafood buffet. And as you can see over here, uh, here is part of that buffet. Uh, another seating area over here and a relaxation space over here. Uh, this is for large family dining. Uh, this area over here, if you've noticed, it's quite a number of seats. And you also, um, uh, the family also gets to pick their meal here as well. Uh, this is stocked with seafood. And as we go further into the buffet, it gets a little bit more brighter and a little bit more festive. Uh, there's more food around and quite a bit more ambiance. Uh, here is the, uh, uh, the sushi bar. And also if you hear uh, there's something cooking up and that is uh, my dad's uh, seafood hot pot uh, that he uh, always loved so much <laughs> when we would go out for Thai food. Uh, this restaurant um, is a blend of all of the um, Asian food that I have loved throughout my life. I've grown up with it uh, because I grew up on the Pacific Rim uh, in Southern California in Los Angeles. So everything um, from uh, uh, Korea, Vietnam, Japan, everywhere. Just food from everywhere. 
Uh, and a lot of these things here in the buffet actually represent a lot of experiences I've had. Uh, the souvenir shop, uh, I've seen uh, Buddhas, large Buddhas, uh, you could put coins on. Um, I've seen small Buddhas you can put coins on. <laughs> um, there are usually um, offering places for fruit or uh, vegetables, usually fruit sometimes you'll find in a lot of Thai um, uh, restaurants. Um, but this is an homage to all of that. Uh, I've seen lit lanterns in restaurants. Uh, over here uh, is a more quiet space for couples. Uh, uh, this space uh, uh, is for locals only. Uh, three fishermen come in every day. Uh, you don't want to mess with them. And why don't we make our way upstairs here? Sort of get a look at kind of everything happening uh, in the background in the buffet. And as we make our way upstairs, uh, this is the wedding and reception area. Uh, so here is the uh, wedding area where you can uh, get betrothed and uh, these things that pop almost sound like you're popping your mouth, I think, a little bit. <laughs> anyway, uh, here is the wedding area and then um, uh, this is the family gathering area afterwards. This is a reception area. Um, as you can see, uh, the groom's parents are a little bit uh, more uh, uh, forward thinking. Uh, they're having champagne. Uh, and the bride's parents uh, have just decided to actually have nothing. <laughs> and here is the uh, wedding buffet for the uh, bride and the groom. You see the Pearl of Wisdom in the background. Uh, and there's the dance floor here where they do their dance. Uh, this area over here is for family members. Uh, the grandparents, uh, great-grandparents. Uh, this is more of an adult space, so uh, the children would be playing somewhere else, so they would be left at home. All right, let's go. Uh, let's find our way downstairs. Uh, there are some uh, laughing wall shields here. And this is more of just kind of a hangout space. Uh, uh, this is, is sushi for one, but a very large one. Uh, as we make our way down, there's uh, lots of curtains and lots of windows. Uh, this is a lower area. Um, it's a little bit more casual here, um, but uh, over here, uh, this is the tatami room. Uh, this is a uh, Japanese tradition. Tatami is a type of um, reed uh, that is made into a, uh, uh, a mat. If you don't see, this is more of bedding from the, from the dynasty bed. <laughs> um, but usually uh, there would be a tatami mat um, there's a table there, and you would put your um, uh, legs underneath uh, the table. Uh, and in olden days, when it got very, very cold in Japan in the winter, um, uh, in the middle of the table is where you would cook your food, and that, that heat um, would heat your feet underneath the table. So this is my closest rendition of what um, I believe to be a, a tatami room, and I have been in them. <laughs> it looks really... Um, I think the structure of it is similar. Um, there's also doors, etc. Um, uh, these right here would probably be the, be the closest thing, um, would be these bamboo um, uh, wall dividers. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to move on with the tour here. Uh, over here is um, uh, the end of our tour, and uh, this is where uh, Madame Xanadu uh, does all of her um, cards of fortune, um, all of her tarot readings. Um, and it looks like that's it for the tour, except it looks like there's a little bit of a, a space in here.
what is this? It looks like it leads to a back area in the... Oh, what is this? Oh, this is Madame Xanadu's private chamber. Huh. Oh, look, there's her apothecary um, uh, uh, storage in the back, uh, her apothecary table. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I see. Ah, this is a space for the accountant. Ah, he doesn't look like he likes to be disturbed. Ah, and it looks like this is a space for the um, uh, 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 some of the protection uh, uh, for Madame Xanadu in the area. It looks like we just have some files here and just a place to play pool. But why does this look like this? Huh. Oh, interesting. This is where they cook the books. I don't think Madame Xanadu is going to be very happy about this now that Brandylicious has discovered this. Well, we're going to leave that for now. And we're going to get out of there and move forward. It looks like this is where some of the food is. It looks like there was a larger piece of food in here at some point. Ah, oh, there's a space for the children to play uh, while their parents are at work when they come home from school. Ah, here we are, and here's the kitchen. Here's all of the spices. Um, if you look, there's a couple of tanks here. Um, this tank here on the left is for all the smaller seafood, and the tank on the right is for the larger seafood, like the mahi-mahi, the ahi, and the um, uh, the, hama, uh, uh, the machi, and then um, over here, uh, and the uh, mako, or mako, and then uh, over here, uh, this is for all of the uh, uh, smaller uh, sushi types. Um, that would be the, um, the taco, the ebi, the ama ebi, uh, the mirugai, um, and other different uh, types of that. And uh, don't uh, forget the um, dessert of the uh, unagi, uh, which is that broiled uh, sea eel with that delicious teriyaki sauce. Uh, that's in here. Uh, if you notice over here, we have the uh, uh, we have a lot of things cooking. Um, we have a hibachi here, uh, and it is uh, cooking up uh, some meat. Uh, we have another floor hibachi here uh, that is cooking up uh, uh, this very large lake of meat. That's probably what was in the in the cage back here, back there. Um, it looks like you have a. Um, it looks like we have a, 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 a another hot pot uh, that's being cooked over here, and uh, various other uh, sundry items. Uh, if you notice, uh, this is the fish cleaning area uh, for the fish tank, um, and there's um, a number of sinks over here uh, for all of the cleaning of the fish. Um, but these again are uh, lots of more herbs and spices, oils, chili oils, and then over here uh, is part of the uh, vegetarian uh, uh, vegetarian menu uh, where they prepare all of the uh, vegetarian food uh, separately for people. And um, it looks like uh, that is about it for the um, for Madame Xanadu's Royal Dynasty Seafood Buffet. Uh, this really does kind of showcase probably 30 years of my love of, uh, uh, of Asian food. So it's Chinese food, Japanese food, <laughs> food from Laos, uh, food from Vietnam, uh, Korea, um, Japan, China. Uh, even regional food uh, from Thailand, uh, places like uh, Chiang Rai and um, Chiang Mai, um, uh, and being reared on uh, Japanese food and sushi, uh, living in the Los Angeles area in the 70s was was really a treat. Um, this uh, base name actually used to be the um, uh, the Tin Sing Buffet, 
Um, and that was actually, um, uh, it was never a buffet, but Tin Sing was a restaurant. And if you'd like to look it up, uh, it was in the Los Angeles area for about um, 60 or 80 years, I believe. Um, anyway, uh, thank you very much for um, coming to visit Madame Xanadu's Royal Dynasty Seafood Buffet. I uh, hope you had a great time and enjoy your eternity and your multiverse. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye now.